Yo, what's up guys, it's Jiggy. I'm going to be going over my 10 favorite After Effects plugins to use. If you don't got them, you're missing out. First up, Lockdown. Now, After Effects' motion tracker isn't all that bad. It's just that Lockdown allows you to really capture those fine details in tracking. It doesn't just track a surface, it also tracks the details within that surface, the creases, the cuts. That way, all you have to do is really attach an image and it just does all the rest for you with just a click of a button. Well, not one button, but a few. Number two, Deep Glow. After Effects' is default glow it just does not do it for me. It takes a lot of setting up. It takes a lot of layering in order to really get right. Despite being the WD-40 of my editing process for Deep Blow, you just click it once, bam, you can change the intensity, change the radius, and it always looks nice. Number three, Motion 3. Motion 3 is a series of tools that will grant your life immunity. Tools such as Anima, where it kind of compiles a bunch of keyframes into one master keyframe. You can make your own color palette. Echo effect to make after images. Cloth, where you have puppet pins and you can control the movement of an object like cloth. This one's my favorite effect. I'm going to refer to Motion by Nick's video, my favorite plugin, Motion 3 Overview. He goes over maybe 20 effects that Motion 3 has to offer. It would also support me if you click the affiliate links leading you to that plugin in the description. Thank you. Number four, text delay. Text delay takes each character of your word and then applies whatever motion effects you add onto the text onto each individual word, line, or character. You make text go up, rest of the text follow on a delay. Must be magic. Number five, there's signal. Signal turns your footage into actual analog, but it doesn't fake it, which means it actually recreates analog technology in a digital environment. It's a quote from the website, not me saying it. This plugin looks crisp. It's as if you put your video footage into an NES and then just play it onto a CRT. TV. I would consider it. It'll take you 10 years into the past. Number six, Cartoon Mobler. Cartoon Mobler adds this cartoony after image to your shapes and text. If you do really fancy subtitles like I do sometimes, this is the plugin for you. I feel like it brings a really certain style into your editing, but when you actually get it to work, it looks great. Lucky number seven, GIF gun or GIF gun. It basically is just that, a gun, boom, you shoot it. Now you got a GIF. You can make a preview for your social media in seconds. Number eight, Animation Composer. It makes basic motion design so, so easy. It has effects for each kind of scenario. You have cool text-specific effects like the typewriter effect. It has effects for bringing entire lines onto the screen. You can extrude, and all these effects can be removed or added in one button. Just one. Number nine, Flow. Now I've been using Ease and Wiz for so many years, but recently I just got recommended to promote Flow instead. Flow is kind of like the graph editor, except actually usable. It comes with 25 motion curves just right out the box, so it's really good to grasp for beginners. It's 24 bucks though, so if you don't have the money, then Ease and Wiz is still a good free go-to alternative. And finally, number 10. It does exactly what the name says, it balances things. Bouncer allows you to control the amplitude, the decay, the gravity. A tool so basic where you can customize it so you can really create your own unique bounce. Thank you for watching and I hope you find a new tool.